name is Emily Droppo. I'm in second year electrical engineering and I'm part of Engineers Without Borders. Hi, my name is Rama Syed. I'm an electrical engineering student at Western and I'm part of the We First group. My name is Cassidy White and I'm in my fourth year of civil engineering specializing in structural with internship. I'm Nicole. I'm doing my electrical engineering master's in robotic control. My name is Archana. I'm a master of engineering student currently pursuing civil and environmental engineering at Western. I'm Laura, co-founder of Pout. I graduated from software engineering and the Ivy Dual degree last year in 2014 from Western. All the comforts that we have in the world right now have been developed by engineers. We love math and science because we take those concepts and we apply them to solve everyday problems. I don't think it's specific to the gender, but it's important that more female students do get engaged in engineering. It's something that we're seeing a cultural shift in now. More females are getting involved in engineering because at a younger age, females are being introduced to the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So most people have a stereotype of an electrical engineer being an old man with gray hair kind of working in a factory, but even though I'm a part of electrical engineering, I want to, you know, go into the workplace and change that and, you know, be this 21st century woman working and changing the way that people think about this and being a part of the new phase of women in engineering in the workplace. And for this day, I had no idea what engineering was really. I thought that it was only for people who always took apart electronics and like building things with their hands, which wasn't me. But I learned that it's for everyone who enjoys problem solving and it's great if you like math and science. Software engineering, computer engineering, electrical and mechanical, you get what we call mechatronic systems engineering. And this is the development of smart machines. Machines that can actually perceive, detect what's happening in the environment and then make a smart decision that, that is in response to what they're actually detecting. After I complete my en undergraduate engineering degree, I plan to go into the workforce. I recently completed an internship uh, where I was doing applied work and I really enjoyed that because it was very hands-on in taking my academic knowledge and then putting it into real constructible things. In my opinion, women in engineering, we bring a different perspective into the field. It's really cliche to say, you know, women and men think differently, but I find having a different opinion in whatever respect, in any kind of diversity, having a more diverse engineering team always comes out on top. After my master's, um, definitely I'm gonna join a consulting firm so I can get into the designing part of it, and probably a few years after that, work into, get, get my way into contracting so I can actually construct and by the end of high school, I realized that I didn't like biology either. So it kept narrowing down to engineering. But I still didn't know what type of engineering I would like because I had no real exposure to it. And I couldn't see myself in the traditional engineering type of jobs, working at a plant or with machines. I just couldn't see it. So I went to Western for engineering because you can do the general first year and take some courses and then see what you like.